Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to our Thursday night Facebook live. Pete and Grady here uh, from the Purple House in Fort. And tonight um, we want to help you feel safe and secure in the center of your own little universe. In a time when it things have been a bit upside down and and inside out and you don't know who you can believe and what you can trust and this is a time of deep questioning and also a time when many of our clients are feeling incredibly challenged because they don't know yeah what to believe or um, and a lot of people have even lost trust in themselves or and Peter and I want to show you some tricks tonight how you can reconnect with your own innermost self uh, because and, yeah, yeah believe believe in your own body and own truth yeah so the bad news is of course at the moment we're living in a some sort of soup where we don't know who is lying or who's telling <laughs> the truth most people are probably telling a little bit of the truth and there's a lot of confusion a lot of hurt feelings People are divided um, and within families and friendships and businesses even, um, people have different opinions, which can be a good thing, but it's a very, very challenging time for everyone. So um, what we thought we would share the good news and the good news is that each human being, each one of us has our own internal navigator or like your own GPS device that shows you the way home and the way home that means the way home to your own ultimate truth because our body our body has its own mind the body mind and that and your body can't lie it's impossible for your body to lie it's only the monkey mind like our mental processes where we get um, lost and our monkey mind loves to tell us big fat lies <laughs> all the time. So that adds to the confusion. But there is a way out through that confusion where you can live in clarity and confidence, especially when you practice um, um, being connected to your innermost self. And that um, is like tuning into your body. Yeah, <clears throat> I, today I was feeling, oh, well, I could let Grada tell you, but I, I was feeling yeah, lousy, not, you, you were feeling yeah, lousy. Yeah, pretty lousy and I didn't get much done and I was getting down on myself and feeling really exhausted and tired for no apparent reason. And I, just this afternoon I thought, blow it, I'm just going to listen to my body. And I went, <laughs> <laughs> went and laid on the bed and I went straight off to sleep, something that I haven't done for decades, ages, mm -hmm. because I always think that I have to be up doing something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I had 20 minutes sleep and I felt really good again. Yeah. So I listened to what my body was telling me to go and have a sleep and yeah, I felt good. Whereas before that, my mind mm -hmm. was telling me all sorts of mm -hmm. rubbish and I didn't feel good at all. But, and Peter actually mm. never has a nap during the day. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy that Peter is learning to listen to his body. That's the way of least resistance because your body always tells the truth. And your body already knows everything. Like even if you stand in front of the supermarket shelf, for instance, and you really tune into your body, let's say you stand in front of a pile of apples, you can just stand really, really still like this. I'll just see if I can show you. Let's say you're the apple, the people who are <laughs> watching. And um, my bo if my body wants an apple, it's going to lean forward. But if it doesn't want an apple, it'll lean back. And if you, um, if you learn to do that um, real quick, uh, the results will absolutely blow you over. So you're Wait. literally mm -hmm. actually tuning your body into a pendulum. Uh, and you can even, by the way, use your arm as a pendulum. I can't really show you, but let's say you flop your arm down to the side and so it's like and it starts you allow it to swing around and you say give me a yes give me a no and then you can listen to the news or whatever and your arm will swing around one way or the other so that way you can tell this person is lying to me or not but the the actually the innermost uh, feeling that you have in your body if you learn to tune into that 
you'll always find the truth. And because lis lis listen to what your body or yeah. intuition yeah. is another. Yeah. Thing. yeah. Of course, when our body hears something that's true, it recognizes it and it gives you energy. But if your body hears something that is actually a lie or a half truth, it drains your energy. So that's another reason why sometimes you feel drained. So we, I don't know why Peter it, was feeling drained today. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> we, we can use this in every situation in our life, really, in relationships, in our business. In yeah, when it comes to making decisions. Cause, yeah. um, we, we were hiring one time, wanting to hire someone, and we uh, got a few girls in for interviews and they all had beautiful resumes and one one really stood out to us, but we both felt a, a, our bodies go backwards like that and we didn't listen to our body mm -hmm. and we hired her because her resume was excellent. It was one of the worst decisions we made because we didn't listen to our body. Actually, it wasn't quite like that, the story. Um, we, You're contradicting me now. <laughs> yeah. Um, he, see, there we go. This is now. I just want to add this. Um, we'd gone through the interview process, and it wasn't. I was just about to uh, send the email to her, the confirmation email. So I was sitting there typing when I felt my body go back like that. So it was really fine. And then I said, to, before I emailed it to her, I said to Pete, just sit behind my computer and see what your body does and Pete's body did the same but then we still thought oh well that's just give her the benefit of the mm -hmm. doubt mm. we'll we'll just listen to her but not to us <laughs> and listen to the monkey mind really anyway um and then the thing is you always pay for it if you don't listen to your intuition um, you tend to make a mistake, but it's okay because mis we learn from our mistakes, but it just means you're doing a big detour. So, um, our body already knows everything, including when the mind doesn't know anything. So, Peter... I, I've gathered quite a few bits and pieces in, hidden them in bags here, and I'm yeah. going to test Rada's body to see whether she likes them or doesn't like them. Yeah, if my body likes it or not, that's yeah. the subconscious yeah. mind. And mm. So we, it looks like a, a Christmas present, here's a Christmas <laughs> present here, <laughs> because Pete has wrapped everything up so he can trick me. So Pete, do you want to go for it? So um, we're going to stand up and Pete is... I'll, I'll test, test Grada's arm first. For a baseline measurement. So stays nice and strong and I can get a weak muscle and it's nice and strong. Okay. And I bring something towards Grada. And that's... It's... You can see it's mm. going... Doesn't really like it. Doesn't like it. And show people what it... Yeah. I don't know if it's sugar. Oh. Sugar. No, I don't really like sugar. But it, not, yeah, well, well, it's not. A, sugar is toxic to your body. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Again. right. Again. Nice and strong. Again, I can feel that going weak already. Yeah, that's going really weak. Yeah. That better not be Grada, <laughs> Grada sprays that on a hair to keep the <gasps> hair in place. I didn't tonight, look. That's hairspray. Mm hmm. So, That's why it looks so messy. Uh, but Hairspray that, is really lots, bad for lots, you. Yeah. Lots of women use it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And okay. deodorant is really bad too, guys. By the way, because it's got aluminium in it. Yeah. All right. Holding okay. strong. And What's that? That's... I reckon there's that's no, no movement there. Okay, so that's good. So... You have to show people what it is. is I reckon it's a present. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it then? Come on, Bo box, box full of essential oils. Ah, okay. So okay. they would strengthen rather than to... There body you go. Rather than... Okay. So um, just do another couple. Not another couple. Many. I've got quite a few here, but another <clears> couple will... 
Ah, what's that? <laughs> it's a, I'm not going to open it. It's an old empty bottle, but it's got still a little bit in of when I used to use Roundup. <gasps> Pete, that's disgusting. I, and that's like a few years ago. Yeah, it's it? quite a few years ago. I'm ashamed now, for goodness sake. Well, Pete is tidying up his shed yeah. and he's digging up stuff from like 20 years ago. Slowly, by the way. All right, so I'm um, going to make it interesting, show people something interesting. Okay, another, another little envelope. Strong. Stayed strong. Okay, what was that? That's black leaf tea. Oh, yeah, so but I never drink that, actually. We, we don't drink that but because <clears throat> it can be the cause of... Yeah. So that was tea. Bad digestion, yeah. but it doesn't worry I just worry want to drivers. say this, actually, because I can't help saying all these tidbits. People who suffer from reflux eh, or uh, sore tummies, and if you drink ba uh, black tea, that's often the cause of heartburn and reflux. Well, I... I always tell people to stop drinking black leaf tea if they have yeah. any Also, if you do indigestion have problems. indigestion mm. and you keep drinking black leaf tea, even with milk in it, it's not going to get better. So, okay, you can, that feels nice and strong. Nice and strong. Okay. I could feel that in my body. Himalayan salt. All right. So minerals and trace minerals. Uh, that's probably enough. Peter's caught about 20 well, parcels there. Yeah, there was quite a bit more. But Peter wants to can... demonstrate something else. Um, okay. So. Oh. I am just. Okay, but people can't see it because you're in the way. It's. No, your arm is like in the way. Okay. So, like my arm is strong, Peter's bringing a mobile phone. Especially I, to the thymus gland, yeah. it really erodes the immune system. So do it real firm so people can see it, and just bring it to my thymus gland. It's holding strong. Because this is something we all carry on our body. Yeah, I literally can't hold it up. But now yeah. I want to show you something. If I keep the Himalayan salt, this is Himalayan salt, I keep this on my body. Yeah, okay. And holding strong, and I bring the phone towards Grada's body. It, and I've got salt it, there now. It gives a little bit, but it's a lot yeah, stronger. That's right. So that proves that um, when you have enough minerals in your body and keep topping yourself up with healthy minerals like Himalayan salt, your energy field will be able to withstand a lot more stresses and pressures and toxins as well, so of course the key is not to have many toxins, happy. No. Especially not around. But yeah. Well we we were muscle testing each other there, but you can use your own body. your own body going give us a demo, backwards like. backwards and forwards. It'll if give it us. if it likes it or it's not if it's strengthens. So you stand for that you have to stand up. Let's oh. Oh, let's go sideways, I don't know if you can see it. So if I love Peter at the moment, <laughs> but you could do this like, okay, of course I love Pete. So after a while, my body will start to rock forward towards him. But let's say if Peter was a banana or something, or an apple or an orange. Or someone that wasn't good for granted. Yeah, that's Even right. Even a person. Yeah. A person mm. who, that's right, or a, per, a toxic person, mm. or even Peter in a toxic mood. Um, I would be, my body would automatically go like that. So it's actually really good to um, start to connect with your own beautiful, super intelligent truth detector self, yourself, mm -hmm. inner most self. So that's good. I'm really going to encourage you to play with it, play with your kids. Children still have an instinct usually that's pretty well spot on. And if it's a little bit confused, you can usually correct it quickly by allowing them, say, to, to eat plenty of Himalayan salt and to just let them have a say in um, what sort of foods they want to eat. And, um, and now I want to help you, especially 
if you find yourself in a situation at the moment where you have conflict between your bestie and yourself or maybe friends or family members or let's say you're the parent and you feel tension with your children I want to show you an exercise that's going to dissolve the tension and conflict because we can, without having to talk about we it. We can talk a lot, which yeah, often so does, doesn't resolve things. Peter and I, when we yeah. talk, we often get into it an argument. It gets louder and louder. <laughs> <laughs> because um, we're the extreme opposites, but then we realize we're actually saying the same thing after a while. So there is a different way. Again, this is about our body, so we're bypassing... Lang we bypassing word language, we bypassing the thinking brain, and what you, simply what you do, you sit next to each other, and then I'm going to ask Pete to think about his uh, worst thoughts or feelings that he harbors towards me, which is impossible, of course, but <laughs> <laughs> not really. But Pete, so just think about something that you find really, really intolerable about me. Got it? <laughs> this might take a while. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What? You found something. <laughs> All right. So sit on that. I really sit on that. And I also have to think about something that really pisses me off about Peter. I'll just say it like that. Okay, um, yeah, I, I can think of something already. <laughs> so now what to do, I'm, I'm sitting on that frustration or it can be, it can be hurt, right? Something that hurts you really deeply, something that you haven't caught over yet. And I'm using my hand now, my left hand, and I'm putting that flat on Peter's chest. And Peter, don't put off my microphone though. So Peter uses his left hand and also, he puts it on my chest. Where the heart center is. Yeah. And now I try to keep thinking or feeling that same hurtful feeling of frustration that I had about Peter, or conflict, or difference of opinion. Because And, and actually, I'm finding I can't hang on to it. It's gone. Yeah, I... When I was thinking of what I was, it was making me get quite a tight feeling in the stomach area. And I want to know what it was now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't need yeah, to know what it no. is. Because actually, as a couple, um, you don't need to... Uh, what's the word? Um, you don't need to tell each other absolutely everything. I don't believe that you need to do that. I think it's really important to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with number one, that's yourself. And then just be honest to yourself about what you feel, what you think, what's going on inside your body, what's going on inside your own inner reality. And don't pretend that it's not happening because... Um, your bestie or your partner or your friend or your kids are always going to pick up on it. Hey, I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you can do this for as long as it takes, but actually it doesn't take very no, it long. it doesn't take long. And it creates a chemical reaction in your body that lasts <clears throat> a positive laughing chemical reaction that's going to last for at least six hours. So if you get into an argument or you're walking around with hurtful feelings or something that hasn't, that's just always in between you and your partner, just uh, do this exercise. And yeah, you feel actually your brain um, starts to synchronize, your body does, you start to breathe the same, at the same rate. And really all those um, hardships or whatever that are in between you, they kind of, they quickly dissolve. They dissolve. Because it's all part of an illusion. It's not true. It seems true because you're feeling it, but it's just an activate, activation of your old unresolved childhood wounds. When, when we get into an argument, it's, it's, we drop back into our... Three or four-year-old. Reptilian brain. Mm -hmm. And it's when we were... Yeah, you used to get upset as a... Kid. But you didn't right. feel loved enough, we didn't mm. get enough, we didn't think you were enough. By the way, which leads me to a point 
I, I can't stop holding PT now, so I'll just <laughs> keep holding it. Um, if there's something in the relationship, so like I just got Peter to think about me and I thought about something painful, that pain that Peter caused me supposedly. Um, but it can also just likewise be something in the relationship that you blame yourself for, right? So mm -hmm. like, let's say I feel guilty about this and that, or I feel uh, ashamed about something I did in, in relation to Peter. So that will still work. You just simply hold your left hand on your palm, and you can, if you want to make it really intense, you can look into each other's eyes, but you don't have to. The left, left eye. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. So the left eye is the window to the soul. Yeah. You actually don't have to though. You can do it with your eyes mm. shut because it's about you becoming in tune with yourself, finding your center, and as soon as one of the couples finds his or her center, whoever is first, the other one will quickly entrain to that and find her center or, or opposite. So um, it's just a beautiful way to restore the bridge and deepen the connection. Doesn't matter how long you've been together or how short, it always works. You can do that with your children as well. So a little, even a little child, they can put their little hand on your chest and um, and this, this kind of exchange of information and your highest intelligence is really, it's like a bridge that's the best version of you crosses both ways and it's really, really beautiful. Do you is feel that, better now? Yeah, that hand, before we even started saying things, that's how we, <laughs> how we communicate it. Before you could speak, you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, okay. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, just start using it, start playing around. And it's about you becoming really, really closely connected and tuned into yourself. So you start to feel really fulfilled. Your life takes on new meaning. Um, you become a lot happier and more content. And of course, a lot more confident. And of course, what it's really, really all about is that Peter and I, we want you to feel safe and secure, that you stay healthy. And you know, there is a lot of division happening yeah, now, that, that, a lot of extremes, but it doesn't mean that, uh, that you can't be living in, um, you don't need to break up for it, you don't need to break up friendships, there is room for all that. There will be people that you don't agree with, but... Um, you can still be... Can, friends with them, you mm. can work with them, yeah. you can respect each other, you can still love each other. And maybe mm. that's part of the great awakening as well, mm. that all these shadows and polarities are surfacing. And yet you find now that you're roomier and more spacious and more expanded in yourself uh, so that you can happily live together. Just like Peter and I do <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> anyway, so that's... Um, a thought for the night. So thanks for tuning in and taking time to yep. to uh, to join us tonight. And I really look forward to seeing you again next uh, Thursday. Yep. Have a good week and trust in yourself. Yeah, and mm. if you have any questions or anything that's really bothering you, or if you think Pete and I can help, you just uh, send us a personal message or put something in the comment box. And um, have lots of fun. Remember to smile and appreciate all the good things that are still happening. Lots of love, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.